something that's a very recent development is the fire stick ignition that's yeah. in the nitro fire. Um, that's like a encapsulated, you know, uh, charge. Mm -hmm. It's pre-measured. You have 100 and 120 grains. Um, and it is similar in uh, composition to Blackhorn in performance, I should say. Yeah. Um, so you're going to you have 120 is going to be your magnum load. Um, and so, uh, Nate, I know you really like that design and have a lot of good information. I was hoping you could dive into that one. So, yeah, absolutely. One of the cool things about the, uh, fire sticks is they're just, it's a whole new powder designed specifically for this application, you know, mm -hmm. trip, yep. it's called triple eight, uh, powder. It's, uh, you know, like you said, a whole lot closer to Blackhorn than, than anything else. Mm -hmm. And just a, a really solid, um, high, um, efficiency, powder mm -hmm. yeah uh, the other cool thing about the fire sticks is you know it's unique design uh, allows you to not have to worry about moisture you know if you drop that thing in the snow it's completely sealed yep. you know until yeah. that primer goes off in the back and busts through that tiny little barrier mm -hmm. it's completely sealed you know you drop it in yeah. the snow or whatever it's still good to go um just a really unique design yeah. and i think it adds a lot to the uh muzzle loader lineup yeah. i think that's one of the big complaints that we always get is uh the fact that the powder or the powder gets wet you know mm -hmm. even if yeah. it's humid it might not be raining but moisture still creeps in there and so that's a really big advantage with the fire stick and so yeah you're really excited well, about that one one quick thing about the fire stick that i love is because it's fully encapsulated if you um start off the day with an intention to take down a deer or whatnot and you don't run into anything at the end of the day you can literally break it open remove the fire stick um and use it for the next day, yeah. which yep. is which is usually unheard of because you'll have either your loose or pelletized powder in the in the muzzle loader. At mm -hmm. the end of the day, you either have to remove it, which wastes mm -hmm. the powder, yep. or shoot it, which wastes a bullet and powder, or leave it in there, which might draw moisture and you won't know if it's going to be efficient ignition the next day. So the fire stick negates all of that. Yeah, yeah. Um, a lot safer. It, yeah, it's it's really nice. I think the compact design is nice too. I mean, you put mm -hmm. five ten fire sticks in your pocket and it's no big deal as yep. opposed to having yeah. like those preloaders or whatever they're oh, pretty sure. cumbersome you know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's cool because it it kind of harkens back to the older technology of using paper cartridges yeah. which there's a lot of cool history behind mm -hmm. paper cartridges and stuff like that and so you get something that's it's you know similar in design we've seen things like it but it's kind of a, a modern twist and so um yeah i just think it's cool that there's always you know Always, there's always something historical about muzzle mm -hmm. loaders, which yeah. is awesome. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed our conversation about the Federal Fire Stick. And if you want to check out the full episode, then look up the Muzzle Loaders podcast, which is available on all major podcast platforms.